and most attractive president in history, but I am JFK, your very own president. It's the 1960s, and we've got some big stuff going on. We're landing on the moon. MLKJ is very active in the civil rights activism. And I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. And of course, we've got the Vietnam War. Bang, bang, bang! It's dawn, and Alpha Troop 19 is commuting to war. 21 GIs bound for a jungle clearing a mile from the Cambodian border. Excuse me, Mr. President, sir. Can you sign this act? What the heck is this? It's the Community Mental Health Centers Act. We're trying to get individuals with mental and physical disabilities integrated back into their communities as fast as possible. Oh, of course, of course. Perfectly in alignment with our great society movement. Oh. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. We are working to fund education and health projects so, to get everyone the resources they need. Approved! Bring in the dancing OTs. You are the dancing queen. Young and sweet, only said. But anyways, who are you? I'm from 2019, but my name's Maddie. I'm an occupational therapy student. Occupational therapy? Well, why didn't you say so? You need to meet Mary. Who's Mary? Mary Riley, only one of the most important OTs in history. Let me send her a radio message. Oh, I love helping OTs. Beep, 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 beep. Ask not what OTs can do for you, but what you can do for your OTs. <laughs> Maddie, meet Mary. Oh, hello. Perfect timing. I'm Mary Riley. I just finished my Eleanor Clark's Lego lecture right in time to bring you on this tour. Oh, man, through the use of his hands, as they are energized by mind and will, can influence the state of his own health. Wow, that is a beautiful quote. Oh, then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. Welcome to the 1960s, the land of occupational therapy, growth, and change. We're shifting from the mechanistic paradigm that lost touch with our roots a little bit back to advocating for individuals. I'm going to teach you all about it through this tour through time, shall we? Yes. Okay, Maddie, on our first stop of the tour through OT, we are going to meet some of the CODA, Certified Occupational Therapy Assistants, who are working on their new 12-week uh, training curriculum course. Check them out. We'll be the first Certified Occupational Therapy Assistants because they need extra help in the field. So already certified OTs with their bachelors are going to need our help, and some of them even already have their masters. There are so many advancements in occupational therapy right now, including creating prosthetics and performing joint replacements. So these soldiers coming home from Vietnam need our help to remain, regain function. After President Johnson signed in Medicare and Medicaid, which specifically mandated OT as an extended care service that the government supports, there was a huge increase in demand. We now have a new partnership with the American Medical Association and now have a committee to help us standardize our new master's programs. So what did you think? I love certified programs and accreditation. Me too. Mary Riley, Mary Riley. We even found a vaccine to cure polio. Oh my goodness, what a huge accomplishment. As we cure acute illnesses, we can get to shift to treating chronic conditions. Thank you, Marilyn. You're welcome. As we continue through the 60s, Maddie, let's stop here to chat with A. Jean Ayers. Hey, 
Aging Ayers. It's me, Mary Riley. Hey ladies, it's lovely to see you, but I'm swamped working on my Applied Neuroscience, a therapeutic approach on sensory integration and assessment. Basic science research is so exciting. Wow, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yes, that is so cool. Thanks so much, Aging Ayers, for your time. And But this is just the beginning of our tour. Let's continue on. Now, here we are arriving at the 1968 AOTA's executive board meeting. Let's say hello to our ex distinguished guests in attendance today. And we happen to get a front row seat to watch all of them say their speeches. Hello everyone, I am Gail Fiddler. I'm a huge advocate for psychodynamic theory and its application in occupational therapy. My husband and I wrote the first textbook dedicated to mental health within the OT profession. Hi, I'm Wilma West and I founded the American Occupational Therapy Foundation in 1965 as a nonprofit so that we can do more research. <coughs> Hello, I'm Elizabeth Yerksa. I research life satisfaction and time management for adults with disabilities. And you know what's so exciting that we're here today for? The AOTA is adopting their very first official definition of occupational therapy. <gasps> occupational therapy is the art and science of directing man's response to selected activity, to promote and maintain health, to prevent disability, to evaluate behavior, and to treat or train patients with physical or psychological dysfunction. Wait, what? I'm so confused. What's going on here? Just trust the process. On with the tour. Let's go. Welcome to the 70s, the era of flares, fringe, tie-dye, discos, and woodstock. Ooh. We're gonna learn so much about what OT did in the 1970s, but first we have to make a stop back at the board meeting. I am so proud to be the first African-American occupational therapist to accept the Eleanor Clark Slagle Award. Shout out to the Civil Rights Movement and Act for giving me the opportunity to contribute to this wonderful field. On the next stop in our tour, we're gonna stop by the judge's office to see what's going on with all the new laws being passed. Perfect, let's go. We have passed the Rehabilitation Act of 1973 and the Education of All Handicapped Children Act of 1975, which better support our disabled citizens with specialized institutions, programs, and better rights. Approved! Bring in the dancing OTs. You are the dancing queen, young and sweet, oh, wow, I can't wait to learn about how all these acts affected OT. Mary! Hi, I just wanted to let you know I finally got involved with OT. Now that all the Vietnam vets are returning, they started a new section called hand therapy, and it's so interesting. Oh, wow! I am so glad to have you on board. Good luck with all your ventures. Thanks, Mary. Oh, look, how fitting! Here we are at Marion Ross Avenue. It's so special because it's 1974, the year that the Occupational Therapy School was founded here at UCA by Marion Ross herself. Oh look, there she is coming our way, Miss Ross! Ms. Oh hello Mary, oh heavens, I'm a big fan! I am flattered. Oh, meet Maddie, this is Maddie, she's from the future. She's studying at the Occupational Therapy School to get her doctorate. Oh wow, right now we are a bachelor's program and we just got state licensure for OTs. The Research on Aging Act of 1974 was recently passed, so right now there's a huge national focus on geriatrics and more specifically on cancer, aging, and neurological diseases. So much good work to be done. Oh, isn't she so great? So now that we've met Mary and Ross, we're gonna head to headquarters to learn about the Code of Ethics. In 1977, the first standalone Code of Ethics was created. Therapists are required to follow the code of, or be censored. The Code of Ethics establishes principles that guide ethical action, ethical reasoning for practice and professional issues. Approved! Bring in the dancing OTs. You are the dancing queen, young and sweet, always say. Well, Maddie, we're headed to our last stop of the blast from your past or my future. <laughs> um, we are headed to Kiel Hoffner's office right now. 
I'm out here perfecting the model of human occupation. Our performance is inextricably linked to our individual self with our values, goals and interests, our environment, our habits, and more. But I'm gonna publish that next year in 1980. Talk about ringing in the decade, right? Wow, I can't believe so much happened with OT in the past two decades. Thank you so much for showing me all about it. Oh, no problem. <laughs> My pleasure. Does anybody know who said this thing? Anybody? Come on, talk. Anybody know who said this quote? Oh, I know, I know, it's Mary.